Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditation, where we generally look at one or another lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. And hooray, it is Sunday, and I am back in Detroit. I was glad to be away with my family this past week for a little uh, recharging, uh, but it's always great to be back, and I'm looking forward to being with worship uh, in worship with the members of the community of St. John's. I certainly have missed to be doing that. Um, as we do on Sundays, instead of doing a lesson for morning or evening prayer, uh, the daily office, we are going to take a look at the collect that's assigned for Quinquagesima Sunday, which is the Sunday before Lent begins. O Lord, who has taught us all things, all our doings without charity are nothing worth. Send thy Holy Ghost and pour into our heart that most excellent gift of charity, the very bond of peace and of all virtues, without which whosoever liveth is counted dead before thee. Grant this for thine only Son, Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Okay, so as we've talked about, uh, colics begin with addressing one of the members of the Trinity, one of the persons of God, uh, and then gives attributes of God, and then our petition, what we're asking God. So so who is God? Well, we have a God who is the Lord and has taught us that all things doing without charity are nothing worth. In other words, you, God has taught us that unless we live in love, that's another word for charity, then anything we do isn't worthwhile. So our petition is that we ask God to send the Holy Ghost to pour into our heart that type of love, right? The gift of charity, the very bond of peace. In other words, we can't have peace in the world. We can't have real inner communion with each other without real love. Uh, because it's not only the bond of peace, but it's the bond of virtues. We can't even live virtuously unless we start with the virtue of love, right? Just as pride is, is the cornerstone of all sinfulness, charity is the not the uh, ultimate, the cornerstone of all virtue. We have to have love in order to accomplish any of the other virtues. Um, and without love, we're counted dead before God, right? God is love, and we must begin to learn how to live that love, to reflect that love. That's what we're called to do. And of course, we pray this through Jesus Christ, right? Uh, his Son. So, uh, again, short, call, short meditation this morning, because I'm ready to get ready for worship. But it's so important for us to realize that in the end, it's all about love. The world has one definition of love. It doesn't always look like the biblical definition, but the love that God's calling us to is a love that is sacrificial, a love that doesn't seek out our own. As a matter of fact, if you wanna figure out what that love looks like, uh, St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 13, right? Uh, they, what we, I jokingly refer to as the wedding ring. Everybody wants to hear that one. Love is patient, love is kind. Uh, all of those things, it doesn't seek after its own good. So this is the type of love that we are called to. And if we do these things, we can begin to make an inroad on becoming the saints that God desires us to be. So as we mentioned, today is Sunday, and we're joining together for worship. And it's our last Sunday before Lent really begins, uh, which begins on Wednesday. But today, 7.30 morning prayer, 8 o'clock Holy Communion, 10 o'clock Holy Communion. 5.30 evening prayer with communion, and then start making your plans for Wednesday, for Ash Wednesday, uh, where we'll have 12.15 Holy Communion and 6 o'clock Holy Communion, both of those with ashes, as well as 5 o'clock evening prayer with ashes. That's on Wednesday. And God willing, we'll see you today in church.